It's only in my dreams. Today is Fiber Friday, so a poet spice, and you will hear my children in the background. They're having a little bit of fun right now. Um, I wanted to come on here and share a few things that I made. Um, I made some bookmarks because I've been doing some Bible study, and I've been reading uh, more than one book now that I'm going back and forth on, and I needed to make a bookmark. So I used this really pretty ribbon that was this beautiful silver glitter. As you can tell, it's just plain and simple at the top. Then down here, I had used um, wire, some beads across, some more beads, and then I finished it off with the wire details. You could tell right there. But I wanted something kind of splashy and pretty, and I thought that that worked really well with this gorgeous ribbon, which I'm going to be using this one particularly in my Bible. Now this next one that I'm sharing, as you can see right here, is nice and long. This is actually made out of leather and um, like a leather type material here, this pink one. So um, as you could tell, it looks like a little, you know, like that. So I made that one as well. And um, it has all this little charm that I made. I put all these beads on here. I did the wire work and I did the same exact thing on the top. I just duplicated the same thing on the top and followed through. Sorry if I, I got a little glue on my hands and follow through just like the bottom and I twisted the material up together so it would look pretty and it would just give a different look and effect. So I'm really happy with both of these. Um, the next thing I want to share is this piece right here. And this is a really pretty bead and it has a lot of play and a lot of light to it. And then I used this really pretty fabric that I have that's like a blue and it has a lot of texture to it, as you can tell. So I just played with that, used this beautiful color. Then I used the opposite color of the yellow with the silver wire. And as you can tell, I got some beads in there playing off on different colors of the rainbow. And I can put this on a um, necklace or a fabric, a fabric uh, like this, but maybe in black or in navy blue or something like that of a ribbon and finish up my look and just wear this. So that is a beautiful um, necklace piece that I would probably wear this way or I could wear it that way and with the fabric it just looks absolutely beautiful i love that piece especially with fabric that's what it looks like in the back that's how i work the uh the wire okay okay now the next piece i wanted to share um as you guys know i work in dollhouse miniatures 112 scale so i had this material it was already treated and i was like you know what let me just make a quick little hanger for the wall for christmas and that's what I did. I'm sorry, I got glue on my fingers. Um, so that's what I did with this one. And I just used a toothpick on the top and added this little fabric here. So it's really pretty material that was perfect scale for dollhouse miniatures. And that's why I chose it. And then I made this little pillow because I had just enough fabric just to make one. It was like one of those little odd pieces. And it was like one of these really cool looking um pieces of material. I said, you know what, let me try to make a, um, a little cushion. So that's what I did. So I made those two pieces. And then the last thing I want to share, it's going to be a part of this right here. And this is a dollhouse miniature display case. I, that's what I call it. I picked it up from Joe, no, from Michael's for $2 and something and change. And it was on clearance. Well, let me show you what I'm going to do with it using fabric. Okay, you guys, this is the same exact box that I just shared with you that had a peach background. What I simply did is I made an insert for the back wall. I did a template of the actual inside, got a piece of cardboard from a box, added this fabric material. This is really pretty, actually green. I'm gonna show it to you right now. This is green right here, this fabric. So I use this fabric material for the background to give it that wallpapered look. Then this is just an old picture made out of paper. That's just straight up paper. And then down here, let me move this. This is all on 112 scale, you guys, just so you know. Then I'm move my 
Then this is just a piece of fabric. And this piece of fabric, I thought, it's not a piece of fabric. It's a ribbon. Now this ribbon I thought was so beautiful because it has this gorgeous country theme. So what I simply did was I put some backing to it. As you could tell, it's like a scrap piece of backing. That's why it's not even. But um, I use a scrap piece of, uh, what do you call this, felt. Then I just greened up the edges so the white wouldn't stick out as much as you could tell. It doesn't stick out as much now. And then I was using that as a carpet. So that was a really pretty ribbon that I'm using as a carpet. And that looks really pretty. Then this is a piece that I had previously made, you guys. This is not a new piece. But this is also fabric. This is a table that I dressed up. And I used this fabric. I think I got it from Joann's. Really pretty, like, fall type fabric and then I made the little um the little napkin rings previously but I did place them in here since it's something that I did work on before I just put a little material together and then I put some jump rings around it and um that's just a little cake and the little a little thing of orange juice right here I'm trying to look at it a little thing of orange juice right here and some little plates and what have you and then this is a little chair for display purposes but I just wanted to see, yeah, it looks great. It looks really cute. I really like that whole idea of doing a template for the back because then I could switch that out and keep the template and keep on using different types of material and even wallpapers and change my themes per season, like for autumn, for Christmas, for spring, fall, Easter, you know, anything that I like to um, display and make something fun. So that's my share, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my 112 scale dollhouse little mini fabric um, project. And I hope you enjoyed my bookmarks. <laughs> I'm covering stuff up. Let's see the little pillow. Um, this will look really cute once I have like, you know, a, a Christmas theme. You see how cute that would look? And you hang it up like that. That'll look really pretty during like a Christmas time like that. And um, so easy, so simple and so easy if you find the right fabric with the right type of um, size patterns on it. I always look for things with little tiny patterns. And I'm really happy with my bookmarks. I'm super excited about my, my bookmarks and this beautiful piece of jewelry that I created with the wire and the fabric and the beads. Okay, well, I'm glad you guys joined me, and thank you so much for um, spending time with me. Have a good one. Bye.